High School Student Ambassadors. Godinez High School, Graciela Gomez. Thank you. Good evening and happy new year. President Rodriguez, members of the board, Superintendent Almenares, and community members. My name is Graciela Gomez, and I am here to represent Godinez Fundamental High School, the only fundamental in all of Santa Ana Unified School District. Godinez has undoubtedly ended and started the new year strong. Our winter pep rally was a success on December 13th, where our theme was end of the decade. We had a spirit week leading up with days including 2010 trends, pajama day, and timber day, we had club and sport performances, and we even had fun games, including Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader and Hungry Hungry Hippos. We had Make-A-Wish, where we distributed gifts to those that are in need and deserving. From November 3rd to, the, to December 6th, we collected money, and then we arranged the gifts, and we sent them out to our students during the pep rally. These gifts range from art supplies to jackets and to paid senior packages. Before the year ended, our VAPA department hosted an, an astounding show. Our rivalry games never end and continue in intensity. On January 9th, our boys and girls soccer team also played against Segestrom. On January 10th, the following day, our boys and girls basketball teams played against Segestrom once again. However, tonight's sports spotlight has without a doubt to go to our cheerleading team. Our Division II cheerleading squad took second place in CIF. Being the fundamental school that we are, our Higher Education Center continues to provide our seniors with financial aid guidance, scholarship resources, and college application assistance. Time is ticking, and seniors are only counting down the days left to branch out and go off to college. As of now, we've had students accepted at Columbia University, NYU, Pennsylvania State University, Haverford University, and even various Cal State universities. These are only a few of many more expected from our Godina scholars. Students, if you need help, please ask, and remember to always think Godinas. Thank you. Thank you, Graciela. Santa Ana High School, Joseph Acevedo. Good evening, President Rodriguez, Superintendent Almendares, and members of the board. My name is Sosa Acevedo, and it's an honor to be reporting about what's being done at Santa Ana High School. I'd like to start off by talking about our Legal Studies Academy. This year, we're proud to report that we had two students take home the Outstanding Pretrial Attorney Award. For those who don't know, there are about 40 schools competing in mock trial with about two pretrial attorneys each. So out of the 10 that are chosen from this pool of 80, we are proud that we took home two awards for the category. This academy will also be sending students to a law summit in Santa Clara to learn about law school and the college process, which is another thing that our school is looking forward to. As for the music department, Victor De Los Santos, our band director, was named a finalist for the 2020 Grammar Educator of the Year Award. This was his third year in a row earning a nomination out of 3,300 nominees. And because of this, both him and our school will receive a $1,000 grant. As for our other arts department in dance, we held our annual dance festival in December. This invited schools from both SAUSD and other districts to perform at Santa Ana High School and showcase all of their hard work throughout the year. Lastly, for speech, we had uh, the Glenbrook Speech and Debate Tournament. At this one, we won the Bradley fourth, uh, fourth place in the Bradley Big School Sweepstakes. This is the first time that a Santa Ana school has won the Big School Sweepstakes at an out-of-state tournament. So we are very excited about that. We had 14 finalists, too, and two who even won first place. For Community outreach, we're continuing our programs like the Congressman Crea Partnership, the Monthly Farmers Market, uh, the Backpack Program that gives out food and supplies, and our Food Pantry. For sports, our soccer team 
is happy that seven students have an above 4.0 GPA, so they're excelling not just on the field, but also in the classroom. They're currently ranked 73rd in the nation, according to Max Preps, and are leading the league with the Coach Penaflores having 297 wins so far. Football made it to CIF playoff playoffs for its sixth year in a row. Coach T has also been active in recruiting our football students to colleges so they can do well not just in high school, but in future education. And Daniel Avalos, a star of the team, has even gotten college scholarship offers for seven universities so far, including ones like Dakota State, Whittier College, and the University of Minnesota Morris. <laughs> With that, I thank you all for listening. Valley High School, Valeria Perez. All right. Um, good evening and happy new year slash decade. Um, good evening, President Rodriguez, members of the board, Superintendent Almendares, and community members. My name is Valeria Perez, and I'm a proud senior at Valley High School. So on December 13th, as well as Godinez, we had our very busy day. It was very fun, and we had our winter rally, which was actually led by the underclassmen, so that was very great for them. They put on a fantastic show with a Charlie Brown Christmas, Christmas theme, which was super cute. And throughout the weeks before the rally, it was really nice to see the kids kind of like create the characters and just try to be the characters. So it was really cool to see the final <coughs> touch and just see how it all came together. After a long day of school, we had our posada. The Culinary Academy worked with our Falcon parents and our Engaged 360 partners to cook a lot of delicious food, which made champurado for everyone to enjoy for free. It was definitely a treat to have some warm food and some warm drinks on that cold day. And we also had some festive music and our, our principal sang karaoke to us. So that was really fun. The new Media and Healthcare Academy are going to be attending the Skills USA competition on February 1st. So all the students right now are kind of just getting ready and studying after school and just meeting up in groups to make sure they're all ready to be um, all set for that day. Our Automotive Academy has just had their third auto service clinic this past weekend where they offer free services to the community from oil changes to tire rotations and brake inspections. Our students get to practice their hands-on industry skills while providing much needed services to anyone who drives up. We also have our automotive and engineering academies going to the camp, a, leader, a leadership camp actually, later this month. We know they will be learning a lot of leadership skills like how to work together, communicate with each other, keep each other motivated being, by being positive and just having a lot of fun. So we're really excited to see them have a lot of fun out there. Our, our Market Day event is a Global Business Academy. Um, they host it annually. This event is a really good opportunity because it allows the students to become young on, entrepreneurs. They are able to create their own businesses. They do their own research, figure out the cost, and they get feed feedback from the students. So they are able to know if their product is something that will actually do good and become very demanded. Many of the students' products actually got sold out, so that was really great for them. I'm sure it was a highlight. On January 30th, we, had our, we are having our Dancing with the Staff so that will definitely bring a crowd to everyone. Everyone is looking forward to seeing their teachers bust a move. And last year, it was, it was very successful. We had a lot of teachers out there showing us their moves. And we're just really excited to see who has the courage and the confidence to show us what they have. Okay, um, if you would like to keep up with what's happening on Valley's campus and see our students in action, you can tune into our daily video broadcast, The Falcon Flash, available worldwide on our school's web, web page. Thank you for your time this evening, and I look forward to seeing you all next month.
So Valeria, Joseph, and Graciela, thank you for gracing us today. We always love to hear the students' perspective of our schools. Thank you. You represent your schools really wonderfully. Thank you for being here tonight.